So now it's time for our science lens. Today we analyze the raking baseball pitch called the knuckball. The knuckleball is a baseball pitch designed to deceive and confuse batters. Today we look at why the knuckleball is so difficult to hit and how it's thrown. We began our experiment by recreating the knuckleball. Professor Taketo Mizota is a researcher who looks into the mechanism behind this most difficult type of breaking ball and is an expert in fluid dynamics. This device developed by the professor is a knuckleball launcher. The device launches baseballs by forcing compressed air down a tube. The design is intended to minimize rotation. Yes. A college baseball team member serves as catcher. Straight after launch, the ball veers to the left. After moving left, the ball continues rotating slowly before turning back to the right. This is another type of knuckleball, but now the ball holds steady after leaving the tube. Halfway to the catcher, it breaks left before suddenly sinking. So why does each pitch behave differently? The movement of the knuckleball is greatly influenced by the ball's seams. You can't throw one if the ball is completely smooth and round. The combination of seams and smooth surfaces makes the movement unpredictable. We used a wind tunnel to examine exactly why the ball's seams are so critical for a knuckleball. The ball is set to turn once every two seconds. Steam is used to highlight the airflow. We shot the ball from above with a high-speed camera. The ball is simply turning counterclockwise, but we can see that the vapor trail behind the ball deviates left and right. These air stream movements are caused by the ball's seams. As the ball moves through the air, the air strikes the raised seams, causing turbulence on the ball's left side, which sticks to the ball's surface. On the other hand, the airflow striking the smooth part of the ball on the opposite side quickly flows past. When the two airflows moving at different speeds merge behind the ball, the airflow is deflected. The knuckleball's deviation depends on the orientation of this deflection. If the airstream behind the ball deviates towards the right, so does the ball. Likewise, the ball moves to the left when the airstream tilts left. Judging the movement of a knuckleball is pretty much futile, and that's what makes it so magic. So magic! Yeah, it's going in all directions. Yeah, my goodness. The knuckleball. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> little monster. I guess, I guess little monster, Lady right. Gaga. But, um, so I guess you, yeah, you kind of hold it like that. And is that comfy? No, right? No, it's horrible. How can you even throw something like right. this? Right. And then I and guess then... you gotta you gotta throw it out. That... Right. Uh! 
<laughs> Sorry. That it sucked. didn't even go in the strike zone, Dane. <laughs> Direction. It went straight. It, it went, went straight. straight. I you know if I practice, I think I still have a chance yet. You really I think, think so? I can go pro. If I went pro now, do you think, you know, I'd, I'd be okay? You're a little bit too old, I think. No, come on. The slower, the better, man. <laughs> <laughs> But that was interesting, wasn't it? It was very, I mean, so much to cover today. It was mm -hmm. awesome. I really enjoyed that.